welcome to my channel. Welcome to today's video. Today's video is going to be all about the Simply Posh Cosmetics Cozy Cabin Palette. I just love the theming of this palette. I had to pick it up. Simply Posh Cosmetics is a brand that's been on my list to try. So this is a new brand to me and I'm excited to test it out. So in today's video, I'll be doing six looks with this palette going over swatches and details. So if that sounds good to you, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't yet, but let's just get started talking about the details of this palette. All right, so let me show you the inside of this palette. It has 18 shades and I mainly picked it up because I love the simplicity of this palette. You can really just go down row by row. So you have 12 mattes and six shimmers and each line just has a very cohesive look. So when I was thinking about doing this video today, I really just thought it would be helpful to see each row in action. So that's why there's six looks. These two looks are what's on my eye right now because I did just finish filming them. So I'm gonna keep it very basic, simple. They're gonna be short little clips for the looks here and you're gonna see each row in action. I do use the top row just as a crease transition shade. I use this bottom row to deepen up my outer crease and then I use the shimmer all over the lid just so you can really see like I said if you were just going to use one row what it looks like on the eye I don't add mascara or anything like that the only thing extra that I will do is test out the shimmers in different ways with my finger with a glitter primer with a brush sprayed not sprayed etc let's just jump into the looks I will be including swatches with the looks so you can see just row by row the swatches but let's just jump into look number one. And after all the looks, we'll talk about my final thoughts.
All right, so those were all six looks. I hope you liked them. I hope you liked the swatches. I did just add a lip on, add some mascara. I didn't put any liner for the last two looks. I just wanted to keep it plain and simple. But let's talk about the formula of this. So first let's talk about the shimmers since I did test these out in different ways. Basically it worked any which way I tried it. The only way where I got fallout was when I used a brush and did not spray it. Other than that, I really didn't get any fallout. For me personally, my favorite way to apply it is with my finger, no glitter glue, only because you kind of got like a more sheer application and you could really see the outer corner more when you use your finger. When you use the glitter glue, it just becomes a more opaque shimmer and maybe that's what you're looking for, but I kind of liked how with some of the shimmers, just having it be a sheerer shimmer, it kind of gave a gradient because you had the dark outer corner. That's just me. Other than that, like these mattes are fantastic. All of them, except for one that we'll go into, perform beautifully. They're very buildable. There's no kick up in the pan. They're not powdery at all, except for this one. So this was the only one I kind of had trouble with. That's on this eye here. You probably saw it. It just was very, very pigmented. And that's not a bad thing per se. It just didn't perform like the rest of these mattes. And I wasn't expecting so much pigment off the bat, especially after doing four looks already. So that was a little bit just a lot of blending, a lot of blending with that shade. So keep that in mind. It doesn't mean it was bad. Again, no kick up, anything like that. It just wasn't the same as the others as buildable. The rest of these though, just if really, really nice mattes, like battling lethal mattes and lethal mattes are my favorite mattes for sure. They're just, they build so well and Simply Posh did such a good job pairing these shades. They do look like they look in the pan, but when you pair them together, they change into the perfect complementary shade for the shimmer. Specifically, I'm talking about this one. So look number three, I was really expecting this to be a more brown look with this matte here. However, once I deepened up the outer corner with this shade on top of this shade, it turned it into more of a berry tone, which went perfectly with the shimmer. At first I was like, how come they didn't add like more of a gold or a champagne? But this shimmer is perfect for these two mattes. And I think they did a really good job. I'm glad that I did this video and went row by row because now I can really see some areas where I could cross over and go outside the lines as to say. I really, you know, like these two shimmers here. I think that, let me flip this over. I think that this would be really nice all over the lid. This one's a little bit more iridescent. So like top that in the center. I can see more ways where some of these would really just go with different looks like even these three you could kind of go that way my mind just immediately went down with the pattern but there's actually like quite a few ways you could do different looks with these that weren't just the the obvious choice so i'm overall very happy with this i like that the pans are removable i'm impressed with my purchasing decision i will say the only two looks that maybe I didn't love love, like my least favorite out of the six was this one, which is this eye on this side. I don't know why, just this undertone feels like it's less flattering for me than this side. If you just compare the two blues, maybe because this has a little bit more purple and this has a little bit more blue. I'm not sure, I can't really like put my finger on it. And then surprisingly, this was one of my least favorite looks. I just, I really liked the warm looks. I was not expecting to. I really liked the green and I really liked this one. So let me know which look was your favorite. Of course, these two probably would have gone with my shirt a little bit better than the blue looks that I ended with, but that's okay. Life goes on. And I'm just happy with this. I know that Simply Posh came out with a new palette recently, the Aurora Lights. That color story doesn't really speak to me, but I will say that if Simply Posh comes out with any other color stories that I'm even a little bit interested in, 
knowing that they have such a fantastic formula is going to push me over the edge and I'm going to be keeping an eye out for their releases in the future. I am just super happy with this. I think that this is a great beginner palette because of its simplicity, because of the ease of use. I personally just really like where the mattes complement the shimmers with indie palettes because for me like I like a shimmer look and I'm wanting to really let that special indie quality in a shimmer shine and that's what this palette does. So if you're a beginner, if you are trying to like dip your toes into Indie, I think this is a really great palette to check out. Now, if you're experienced with Indie, if you love color, this might be a little bit too basic for you. It really is just gonna depend on what you like, but I can see where this is just, it's a little bit too boring, even though it has color. I'd love to hear your thoughts though. Like, are you interested in this palette? Have you tried Simply Posh Cosmetics already? Do you like the formula or do you hate it? Because we're all different. We all like different things. So I'd love to hear your thoughts below, but that is where I'm gonna leave you all. I hope you enjoyed this video, the looks, the swatches, all of it. So this is where I'm gonna leave you all. I hope you're having a good one and I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone.